Hold on, Pam. Hold on. Hold on. Like you'll get it's violent. It's 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 says, it says you that the like unrighteous. And I'm not violent at all. You got the microphone. I, hey, 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 you hey, get. I don't need the microphone, brother. I don't need the butt. The hey, butt. Hey, 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 the lions hey, right now, player. Keep hollering. Keep hollering. Hey, I don't need to talk to you. Keep on but what I'm saying is, brothers and sisters, read it again, family. Two. We don't need the mic. Read it again. Know ye not <laughs> that the unrighteous yeah, man, shall man. not man. inherit the kingdom of God? The lions here, brother. We don't need the mic. That's right. right. Just to make sure old fools like you can hear clearly. Right. Read. Read. Read it again. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Most High God is going to describe who the righteous are and who the unrighteous are. Read. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. Now remember, King James was the authorizer of this book. Let's see what King James left in this book, since King James is supposedly a faggot. Read. How you doing? How you doing, brother? You have a question? Doing pretty good. How you? I'm Zane. I'm Zane. Power now, but wait a minute. You give me, come, on. come on now. No, you give me some power, but I'm finna give you some power right now. Right Whoa, now. Can I share something with you? I'm listening. Do you know who you what's your nationality? Let me share something with you. Well, I'm a human being. You you're a human being. Wait up. That, that, you just a human being? Everybody a human being, right? Well, every human is a human being, but dogs and cats, right? All right, l let me let me show you what most our guys say. No, you hold on. Listen to this. Let, let's, let's see let's see what the Bible got to say. Isaiah chapter one verse three. The ox knoweth his owner. Do you know what, what ox is? Do you know what ox is? Ox is a box without the beat. Well, ox is what? A box without the beat. O X. Read, read that again. Box the ox knoweth his owner. The ox knoweth his owner. And the ass. His master's crib. The ass is a dumb animal. Hold on, it said, even the ass knows his master's crib. Maybe, well, let me help but who? You this. Let me but help. Israel. But who? But Israel. But who? But Israel. You think you're a human being. That's what you just said. Let's I asked you what's doing. your nationality. Wait, wait, you said a human being. Nationality. Wait, wait, wait. But Israel doeth not know. Uh -huh. My people does not consider. You're not even considering of caring about who you are. Maybe. You came up here with so much knowledge, and you ain't keeping the first thing on about the Bible. I'm working, man. You you working? You know what today is? I grow my own food. Man. Do you know what today is? I grow my own. Food, you said you man. read the Bible. Do you know what today is? I'm growing yeah. my own. Food. Let me let me show you Everybody, what today is. Let me show you what today is read. according to the Bible. What's today? Read. Exodus chapter twenty and verse eight. Read. Yeah. Remember the Sabbath day. You know you forgot that day, though, right? Sure. You forgot that day. Today is the Sabbath. Read, read it again. Remember the Sabbath day uh -huh. to keep it holy. Keep it holy. How do you keep it holy? I know that. How do you keep it holy? Well, yeah. What day? You said you read the Bible. Oh, what day me. did the Most High God say to rest? Hey, boy, you're doing a good job. What I'm, day? I'm, I'm growing food. What day? Hey, boy, Let me get Neil Mayer 10 that, and uh, 31. Is that the King James version of the Bible? That's King James. He was a pedophile. He right. was, he, King James, the actual King James of England, he was a pedophile. He was a faggot. Know your history, boy. King James, the actual King James of England. He was a pedophile. He was a faggot. Know your history, boy. King James, the actual King James of England. He was a pedophile. He was a faggot. Know your history, boy. I follow Jesus. Jesus. I don't follow the Jesus. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. This, this is in the King James you got, Bible. You got a lot of to do, baby. As with mankind. Uh -huh. It is abomination. That's what he said. This is abomination. Right. This is in the King James you Bible. Of, you got a lot of studying to do, baby. You got a lot of reading to do. No, right. I, baby, I read That's well, what it is. way more right. many books than you did Joe, read. Joe, I read Joe, way Joe. more many books than you did. And you should not. You still haven't read this Psalms book. Wait, I read that book. Psalms 111 and 10. That don't make you spiritual. Psalms 111. But person, I don't even know. What is spiritual? You got somebody, somebody else got to tell you what to say? No. Come on, baby. Well, give me some play. Man. What's your name, brother? Calm down. Calm down. All right, calm, all right, calm down, Mr. Thomas. Calm down. So we're going to deal with all things decently in order. You know what I'm saying? We ain't out here to cause no strife amongst each other. We're out here to educate our people. Can I share something? We want, we want to deal with something that you just said. Because I'm going to share something with you, and then I'm going to let you share something with me, all right? Let's deal with the issue that we're having about King James. You said King James was a pedophile or a homosexual, right? That's what you said. Now. 
Can you prove that factual? I'm just asking. Can you prove can you that prove he wasn't? Can you yes. prove? Can you yes, prove that can. he wasn't? Oh. Can you prove First that all, he wasn't? Let's deal with. Can you prove that he wasn't? Now? Who was King James? Who, who was this right here? He, he's from England. King of England. That's King James, right? Well, First of all, that's a picture of a man. That's the that's the picture that's of King picture. James. All right. The, the idea that you have of Sir, the, the idea that you have of him being a homosexual or. Uh, uh, a pedophile comes from Anthony Weldon. Are you listening? I'm trying. You said that I could deal with you, and then you will let me. I listen to my brain, not with my ears. Listen, brother. I hear you. Listen. But my listen. brain ain't listening. I listen. need this uh, Zolomon Combat Bible Dictionary. Zolomon Combat Bible Dictionary. Hey, boy. Let's because what happens is, see, look. We, we, this is what you're doing. You see, you see this couple right here? Yeah. This couple right here, are, they're diligently listening. What we can't allow you to I'll do, what we can't allow you to do is make it's them confused. No, 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 Don't no. get confused about what's being no, said. No, 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 all right? no, 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 no. King James, we're going to find out we, we who wrote the Bible. First of all, first give me Psalm 68 and 11. Get that first, and then we're going to get King James. But this is an image of King James who had the Bible translated. He did not write the Bible. All right? He did not write the Bible. What? That idea, hold that, brother. That idea that you have of him being a pedophile was created by Anthony Weldon, right. right? He did not, he was not a pedophile. That idea and that idea, that thought process started from another man, Anthony Weldon. That's where that came from, all right? But we're gonna find out who wrote the Bible, all right? Listen. Psalm chapter 68, verse 11. The Lord gave the word. So the Most High God, he gave the word, come on. Great was the company of those that published it. So what does that mean? It says great was the company of those that published it, meaning there are many, there are many companies that published the Bible, but the Most High God gave the word and the prophets wrote what was required of them to write right. Right, by the Most High God. Right. He is the author of this book. That's all right? right, now let's find out. What language do you speak? English, right? What language do you speak, sir? English, Spanish, If I was reading English, this Bible, English, hold on, Spanish, man. Yoruba. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a get I want you to get me uh, Matthew six, the, the Our Father prayer. I want you to I want you to translate this for me. I want you to translate this too. I want you to translate this. I want I want I want to see I want to see if you speak this language. All right, read it slow. Read the first part. Hold on. Yeah, read it. Matthew chapter six and verse nine. Bring it out. After this manner, therefore pray ye. All right, stop right there. He said, after this manner, therefore pray ye. Now I'm gonna say it. Tefila, Abenu Shabashimayin, Yikada Semer Kartavo Makuteva, Yazere Zanka. What did I say? You don't know what the hell I said, right? right. I just it. quoted the Our Father prayer in what is now known as Hebrew. Okay. All right? Okay. But if this whole Bible was written in Hebrew, could you understand what this Bible said? No, you couldn't. So King James had the Bible translated into an English into an English language so that we could have it today. Let's find out how he did that. Give me that in the uh, Zonderman Compact Bible Dictionary. All right? Because if this book was in Hebrew, you couldn't read it, you couldn't read it, and you couldn't read it. Neither could none of the men standing right here today. All right? Give me that in uh, the uh, Zonderman Compact Bible Dictionary. What you got to say? Let's see how he translated the Bible. I mean, I mean, can, I speak, can I speak in another language? The Zondervan Bible, the Compact Bible Dictionary, no. King James Version, Bring it out. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars of the day were divided into six groups. So he had 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. Why? Because the Old Testament was written in what? Hebrew. The New Testament was written in what? Greek. Come on. Three for the Old Testament. He had three to translate the Old Testament. Two for the New. Two for the New Testament. And one for the Apocrypha. One for the Apocrypha. Let me see the Apocrypha. So when you get a regular Bible nowadays, it's missing these books. It does not have the Apocrypha in it. But when King James had the Bible translated at this time, he had the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Apocrypha translated. Why? So that we can understand it. Read on. Two of the groups met at Oxford, uh -huh. two at Cambridge, and two at Westminster. Which, when a group had completed its task, uh -huh. its works were submitted to 12 men. Come on. Two from each panel. Final differences of opinion were settled at a general meeting of each company. Come on. In cases of special difficulty, learned men outside the board of revisers. What, what, learn what? 
learned men outside the Board of Revisors were consulted. Marginal notes were used only to explain Hebrew and Greek words. So the Bible was originally in what? Greek and Hebrew. If this thing was still written that way, we could not read it. We would have no understanding. Real Let quick, the cap deal real with quick, it. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Because what the officer's bringing out is something heavy. Brothers, I mean, sister, hold on one second, one second. You had your turn. We'll let you speak again. Okay, well, yeah, I'll give you another turn. Just bear with me. My name is Captain REA. Shalom, shalom. What the officer's bringing out is very heavy. Because oftentimes, let me have that. Colossians uh, 2 and 8. You know what I want. Let me have that. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Uh -huh. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. You hear that right there? The Bible is warning, warning us clearly. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophies and vain deceits. That vain deceits is going into what? Who can help me out? Different religions, different doctrines, lies. The things that this brother is spewing out came from the damn oppressor. Just what the officer brought out. That was a man in his court by the name of Sir Anthony Weldon. King James had many children, and King James was married. Remember, King, King James didn't write the Bible. King, ja hey, King James authorized the Bible. Okay? There's a difference between the author and the authorizer. You understand? The Most High God is the author of the Bible. The nation of Israel is the audience according to the Bible. You understand? What I have in my hand is going to debunk the lies that this damn old fool has been bringing out here in Columbia today. This is known as the Basilicon Doran. It's known as the Basilicon Door, which means the king's gift. This was letters given by King James, the last black king of Scots, to his son. We're going to read something really fast. I need you to hold this because it's in Old English, okay? Hold this for me right here. It says, now remember, 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 King James, before I get that, King James authorized the Bible. So if you're authorized of the Bible, you're going to make sure that the things that you want in the Bible remain in the Bible, and the things that you don't want to go contrary come out. Let's see what King James left in the Bible. Give me the book of 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Who's got that sword? Because this thing needs to swing. You see this right here? The wicked flee when no man pursue. Where you going, man? I'm still waiting on you. We're going to give you your chance to speak. We're going to give you your chance to speak. But hey, the scriptures say prove all things. So that, that's what our job is. The Israelites, we're going to prove all things. But I don't want some old fool to come out here with no Bible can't back up what the hell he's saying. Right. Read what you have. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And he can't get offended because fool is in the Bible. Christ himself called his own disciple a damn devil. So if you're going to come out here disrespecting our heritage, our laws, and you're going to go with the damn society today that enslaved us for over, over 400 years, the Bible says, yes, you're an old damn fool. That's and right. we're going to prove that next. Read what, read what you got, off. I'm sorry. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, sister, brother, it says that, the, hold on, fam, hold on, hold on. It says, it says, it says, it says that the unrighteous, and I'm not violent at all. You got the microphone. I, hey, 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 I don't need the microphone, brother. I don't need the microphone. Hey, the lions right now, player. Keep hollering, keep hollering. Hey, I don't need to talk to you. But what I'm saying is, brothers and sisters, read it again, family. We don't need the mic. Read it again. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The lions here, brother. We don't need the mic. That's right. Just to make sure old fools like you can hear clearly. Right. Read. Read it again. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Most High God is going to describe who the righteous are and who the unrighteous are. Read. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. Now remember, King James was the authorizer of this book. Let's see what King James left in this book since King James is supposedly a faggot. Read. Neither fornicator. Neither fornicator shall inherit the kingdom of God. That's a brother or sister having sexual relations and not being married according to what God yeah. said. Right. Read. Nor idolaters. Nor idolaters. That's a brother or sister that love covetousness. Or you have your own God, the car, money, jewels, and riches of this world. That's adultery. Read. No adulterers. No adulterers. That's a man that cheats on his wife or vice versa. Read. Or 
actually an Israelite brother or sister that goes contrary to the laws of God right. and commits adultery on their heavenly father. Right. Right. Read, read, nor effeminate. Nor effeminate. That's that soft spoken man. Like we see these brothers today without raising single mother households, man. Walking around damn effeminate. Can't be talked to like man and, and he gets offended. He gets worried because I raised my mouth. That's an effeminate old fool right there, man. Right. Right. Read, right. no right. abusers of themselves with mankind. It says, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. What's that going into? Homosexuality. Right. right. So right. why would King James leave this in the Bible? Bring it up. If he was a faggot. Right. There's no way in hell. He don't even know King James was a black man. That's right. 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 King of Scots, the King of Scots. I'm going to read exactly what King James wrote to his brother. I'm going to give the brother, uh, the brother back the mic. Bring it, up. it says, it's the Basilicon Doran. As for your choice in marriage, chiefly in three causes, wherefore marriage was gifted and ordained by God, and then join three accessories, they may be obtained. Not, uh, it says, for the principles. The three causes it was ordained for are the straying and the staying of lust for procreation of children. So wait a minute. If King James was a homo, he wouldn't have had no kids to write to. Right. What the hell is this old fool talking about? Job 32 and 7. Job told, you can pick this book up for yourself if you want the ISBN. It's known as the Basilicon Doran. That whole lie of King James being a homo came from Sir Anthony Weldon. Right. Okay, he was a part of King James's court. And when King James Something died, right. remember King James had... Right, 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 right. Throw me off. Okay, so uh, we'll get back to this. But the point that I'm bringing out is he was a part of King James's court and made a vow to come back and shame the name of King James. Basically, King James moved him out of his court. Read what you have. Job chapter 32, verse 7. Read. I said, days should speak. So this is our forefather, our forefather, Job. He's saying days should speak. Go ahead. And a multitude of years should teach wisdom. And a multitude of years should teach wisdom. You got this old damn fool up here trying to say that King James is a homo. He should know that King James is not a homo before anybody out here on the block. Right. right. He was conceived before any one of us out here on the block. Right. Right. But what's that tell you? Uh, hey, the men of our, of, of our nation, they're old fools, man. Right. They don't have the understanding. Why? Because they're not keeping God's laws. I right. don't give a damn if you got gray head on your hair. If you're not applying God's laws, I'm not respecting you. Yes, I don't give brother. a damn. These brothers ain't respecting you. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So the point is, brothers and sisters, we just read in Colossians 2 and 8, don't let anybody come and sway you with foolishness and vain deceits. The Bible says, let me have that. First Peter 4 and 11. We got to prove all things. I'm sorry. Let the Bible speak. To hell with Yo. these pastors in these churches, man. Right. It's high time we come back to who we are. Right. You're an Israelite according to the Bible, yeah. Sarah. Right. You're a daughter of Sarah according to the Bible. Right. You're better than any other nation out there on the face of this damn planet. Right. Right. Read what you have. First Peter chapter 4, verse 11. Bring it out. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man is going to tell you something according to the knowledge and wisdom of the Heavenly Father, God of Israel, he better be coming with the Bible. That's and he right. better not be coming off his own damn understanding, man. Right. And he better go precept upon precept and prove that damn thing. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.